contigo, que bien yo me siento para arriba, para abajo, para el centro, para adentro, perreando contigo, que bien yo me siento. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Max. Come on. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, sir. Nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Dafty! Ah, come here, I love this one. Marcello! Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey Saud! Oh. oh, I got to quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the yayo, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey, even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead! Lay off the yayo, eh? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, uh, sure, ta bon, ta bon, but have him smile a bit more, you know? His life! Life is good! <laughs> Where's the truck? It's coming. Hey, soon. Pasos. Yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay. ¡También está vacía! There'll be time for that in a minute.
The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. This was where Marcella was supposed to be sleeping. Hasso's had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. I had a way of making any space my own. Daphne's ship was always stocked. The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it, whatever it was. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feed. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. This was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good.
It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcello was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. Save some valuables. Miguel, There was something firing these guys other than good old fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. The pirates wouldn't get everything.
band played on. The boat was well appointed. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcello. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. I do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. Through here. in that building and get across the canal. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. reason why they're going across the canal. to find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists I'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality
¡Cállate! ¡No dispares! Fancy seeing you here. Locked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I didn't think things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York.